Welcome to Myler's Mods, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the Venom Pro. Okay. This is a $50 off-the-shelf offering from Dark Zone. It's part of their Max line. It's also a new chance for the new darts that they came out with. These are, again, triple wing bamboo darts. They're kind of similar to my ZWQ darts that I know and love. You know, but they're just made by Dark Zone. That's really it. Um, so what this is, is this is a flywheel powered pistol. Yeah, that's right. A flywheel powered pistol. And I'm not really a fan of flywheels. You know, I'm more or less a, a Springer man just because they're easier to maintain and easier to tune. But what this is, as I said, this flywheel powered pistol. So this blaster costs 50 bucks a target. Yeah, that's right. 50 bucks. So let's see what your $50 gets you. You get the blaster itself. It comes with a LiPo battery and a charger. The LiPo is already installed in this blaster. It looks like to me to be an XT30 connector. You also get two 12-shot mags. If you notice, I have these preloaded. One's got AO Pro darts. The other one has my ZW2 darts that I love. And a pair of safety glasses. And you also get a whole bunch of darts with it, like 24 darts. I mean, it's not a bad little pistol. I do like it. When I ran this blaster over my chronograph, I was getting an average firing velocity of 120 FPS. So that's perfect for HVZ. Keep in mind, HVZ is 130. Okay. Now, this blaster has an on-off switch right here, save and fire. To activate it, you do that. The rev switch is back here. That's the rev switch right there, which is a little weird, but it's kind of different, you know. Now, when I saw this blaster originally, all I saw was, I, I'm guessing it was like concept art. That's the best way that I'm going to describe it. It was, it looked longer. It looked like to be about to out here, which I was really happy with, you know. It, it was giving off those nice Deagle vibes. But this one, this is kind of like a SMG flywheel powered pistol vibe. Now, this blaster is full auto. So I guess this would be, uh, Dark Zone's answer to the worker Nightingale. You know, because uh, Nightingales are full of auto, or at least uh, Gen 1.5, and I believe the Gen 2. I mean, now this blaster has a DPS of 7 darts a second. Yeah, that's right, 7 darts a second. That's not bad. That's, if I remember right, and, God, the score went back. Uh, a Perseus shoots about 8 balls a second, okay? So, this is slightly slower than a rival Perseus. Yes. Let me give you a firing demo. I've got the, the ZWQ dog. <laughs> Couldn't have done that again if I tried. I mean, it's a rather nice blast. It truly is a blast to operate. I mean, I am rather impressed with it. And, and again... The Max Striker to me, you know, they just kind of killed my hopes and dreams with that blaster altogether. But this one here, I was actually excited to see this one. You know, the, the Red Trigger is a little bit weird of a location, you know, because normally we're used to Red Triggers down here or maybe even a two-stage trigger. But, you know, it's it's just a little different. I mean, but for $50 for an off-the-shelf blaster, it's not bad. It's definitely worth the price. You know, it's what I like to call priced appropriately. And there's not many things nowadays that are. But it seems like this year is going to be the year of the budget blaster. You know, when I say budget blaster, I mean $50 or less. I mean, it's it's just how this year's going, it seems. I mean, this blaster is really nice. I actually do like it. I think I'm going to shoot this other bag just for fun. <laughs> And it has a very nice, clean, clean, crisp mag drop. I like that. Now, this blaster will also take Nightingale mags as well. Okay, Nightingale mags are 15-shot magazines, so it'll give you a nice little ammo boost. I didn't break out one of my Nightingale mags for the video because I already knew it did. I tested it off camera, and it took it. So... So, you know, I mean, but still, you know, for 50 bucks, you get a blaster, two mags, some darts, and safety glasses, and a lipo. <laughs> you really can't beat that. You know, it's cheaper than a worker Nightingale. I mean, Nightingale's right now 
are anywhere between 60 and $90, I want to say, depending on who you go see. And so for 50 bucks, if you live in the United States, it's absolutely great, you know. But people in Australia will get hosed on this one because I'm betting, even though this blaster costs 50 bucks here, I'm betting it's probably going to be about $150 in Australia. Just saying. You know, but if, so if darts are ever like fix their distribution problem to where Australia could get toys like this and like the Striker 2.0 and the Nexus X at a reasonable price, then it would be great. But in any event, ladies and gentlemen, I'll put a buy link in the description below for the Venom Pro. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, this is Miler's Mod signing off.